In this tutorial, we are going to install the text generation web UI for large language model running in local machine. It is very similar like stable diffusions, automatic 1111, and you can download it in this GitHub page from their GitHub link here. And as you can see, the interface is pretty similar like automatic 1111. You have the orange button for generate and you got like dark themes for your text prom and you see the result like a chat bot. So very similar like using chat GTP. But then this thing is installed in your local machine and in this sections here, it shows the steps of installation guide and they have this download link and basically you just click this download and download this SIF files and I'm downloading in the C drive for this text generations and once it finished download extract the files and you have everything to get start running and very simple you just click start scripts and for windows we are using the start underscore windows bat files so even the first time you run this you click the same start script files and it will automatically install and download the necessary libraries for this project and then it will ask you a few questions so the first one will ask you what kind of gpu you are using so for my case i'm using nvidia and then ask you do you want to install the latest qad and yeah i will just use the default settings and no way for the downloads here and then there is nothing really special to tricks or steps the first time installations just download these files and then extract these sif files into a folders and then you start clicking the start scripts and they also have the update scripts for your systems so in this sections here as you can see there's downloads models so basically most models are from hugging phase and then for the large language models they have uh, mostly support two kinds of file structure one is gguf models files and then one is gptq models file so i'm going to download one is the gptq models files because this is more complex than download single files to run so in the tutorials here i will try to do this one the gptq models files in the next step so wait for the downloads and then meanwhile i am selecting like this vicuna 7b uncensored gptq ai models and in the next step i'm going to download that one so once it finished installations it will start the web ui in your web browsers and then we can see the basic ui features in here you can click the options menu and then you can save the chat copy the last reply and then continue and regenerate the text from the ai and then you can save the text history uh, in the notebook here and then in this default tab they have like a template for text prompts you can set other kinds of text prompts here so it is very customizable for your own workflows and then in the notebook here you can save the previous histories and some others generate result that you want to continue to work with and then on the next one we can customize our ai assistance so you can create the ai characters and also your own characters so in here i am choosing profile pictures for the ai so i name the ai characters as johnny and click save and then here we have the characters safe in our local setup and then moving on to the next one we are going to download the models files so this is a gptq file type uh we will have to create subfolders in the models folder and based on the hugging face we are going to download everything from this model so i'm going to just very tedious work click each of these files and basically this save tensors files is the main ai models files 4.5 gigs and then the other json files and the tokenizers files is basically the ai settings of this models So we restart the web UI again. 
and then go to models and select the models as you can. See, if you download successfully, the new models will appear in this drop down menu, and then you can do some configurations. You can customize your own tokens, numbers of uh, max sequence length, sorry, max context length, and all other values. So come back to the chat bot here. Yeah, you can start basic conversations with the chat bot and let's test it out. So here I ask some basic questions and see, uh, let's say how to create LoRa models for LLM and run it in text generations web UI. And uh, there you have it. The AIs show me the steps, how to create LoRa's models in large language models. And then after training the LoRa's, we can follow these steps and deploy in our text generation web UI system here. So scroll down a little bit uh, from the chat bot, we can see our characters that we just created. So Johnny, the AI, yeah, let's click this one. Uh, so um, it will load up the profile of the AI assistants, and then it will know their profile pic. And then if you set a specific behavior or characters for this AI assistant, then the way of their talking is different. Uh, the way of their answers, how they speak, how they chat is going to be a little different than the default AI assistants. So in here, I'm going to ask a basic JavaScript creations. So let's say, help me to create a JavaScript to gather stock market data uh, by quote and from Hong Kong stock market. And then there you go. The AI is create a very basic web request script. Actually, it's not special for stock market, but then this link is actually not work in the public. They need a token key and uh, membership request authorizations in order to do that. But it kind of makes sense that uh, this AI are able to do a web request, simple web request query JavaScript. And uh, so, yeah, this demo is pretty simple, but uh, is showing the AI is able to do something like that, just like the chat GTP. And then let's do something like content creations. Like people, uh, we create blog posts, doing video scripts in YouTube. I asked the chatbot to help me draft topics from Stable Diffusion's AI image for business. The AI is creating the outline of these articles and then based on the articles, I can expand the content and develop on each sections to start writing more detail of it. And maybe next time we are going to try out the other AI models. Yeah, so I hope you guys like it. And right now I'm trying to do more content about other AI tools rather than just uh, focus on stable diffusions because for me, it's kind of get more interesting in other AI stuff. And then I wanna share with you guys, it's not teaching, but uh, I just wanted to share more information about AI tools. So hope you guys like it and I will see you guys in the next videos and have a nice day.